Hey everybody, this is Asher back with more Kerbal Space Program. We are at the South Pole and Alvi, Alvi, you're going to have some fun here in a second, I think, because you are about to land on Eve, I hope. You can see that she is a little further on than everybody else. You can see our collection of other ships over here. They'll all get to do their thing eventually, but it is it is the first manned mission to Eve's time to shine. So let's go ahead and get ourselves pointed in the correct direction. Let's get ourselves closer to the actual atmosphere. We can probably do one EVA report. Real, we can probably squeeze that in real quick. Maybe. SAS disengaged from the Eve's Highlands. Good. So we could land here. So let's go ahead and retract the panels. We do not need those right now. We don't need we definitely don't need them to burn and let's go ahead and point ourselves in the prograde direction. Now we have some rocket thrusters here as well. They're not going to do a lot of good for me. In fact, I think my general course plan of action is to go ahead and stage. There we go. Hope this works. All right. So hopefully those will not like turn into little rocket balls of fire, but we are about to hit the atmosphere hard, really hard. We're hitting the atmosphere at 4,000 meters per second. That's, that is nuts. And we don't even have full ablative shielding. So we are now, we're now on a suborbital trajectory. Well, we have been. But this is where the rubber hits the road. I've never tested dumping anything into an atmosphere this thick. So this is going to be fun, maybe. We are in the upper atmosphere. You can see the sky is disappearing. There's another beautiful view. Might be the last one you have, but it's nice while we have it. So let's see what we got. As we have, our blader is going to be the biggest thing that we want to see here, but. Notice we have yield slow down again. Let's go ahead and turn off the SAS. We have a few things that could conceivably explode just from how this is going, and it looks like this is trying to turn the wrong direction. That's not good. We want, we want to keep the other side pointing forward. We do not want this flipping around. I've tried to design this to where most of the weight was over here. And we have things heating up in a hurry. All right, maybe I should have kept the SAS on. As this does not want to cooperate. See, look how fast things are overheating. Look at how fast this is going. What are we, what are we losing? We're losing a ladder. That's great. Okay, one ladder gone. And then what else do we got? Once again, I really thought the ship would be pointing in the correct direction here, but it doesn't seem to want to cooperate very well. Why is the ladder the first to go, I guess is what I want to know, but okay, we do not like it tilting that direction. That's for sure. Maybe it's because I didn't put other stuff on the other side nearly as well. Do we have more things heating up is what I want to know. So we're at 60,000. We've, we're not shedding speed as fast as I'd like. And we have a docking port up here. That was about to catch on fire. At least that's what's supposed to catch on fire right now. Anything else that's about to burn to a crisp? I mean, it's Eve. Everything is going to burn to a crisp and melt. Let's go ahead and take a uh, crew report from the thing that's actually manned. Crew report. Should have moved her out of the Coppola, I think. So let's keep the data. Yeah, didn't we test this before and decide that the Coppola was not the place where I wanted to be putting my crew in there? Maybe we can still make it, but right now our ladder to transfer from one area to the other is gone, so I don't know if I'll be able to man the science bay from here. Maybe I should have done a uh, spacey space transfer, or maybe I should have sent two people. 
Regardless, at least we'll have some science from uh, Eve, maybe, if we can survive. We are at 2,000 meters per second. Everything is starting to heat up. We got landing legs heating up. We got our other crew heating up. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's just supposed to be okay. Or everything is going to die in a fire. Because our blade of shielding is actually having to do work. But what is currently... Okay, we have some lights that are not happy. Well, I guess lights are kind of optional. But we do have a peak that's over here. I still have no idea if I'm landing in water or not. This is literally as blind as a bat going in here. But at least we're not, like, dead yet. 2,000 meters. 1,000 meters. You know, the good news is that we are... I just don't know. I think that's the coast, and I think this is land. So I think we're actually going to land on the land, which is great, if we can survive this entry. And the ablative shielding is going down really fast. But we're down to 1,000 meters or less, so we may stop burning up in the atmosphere in just a little bit. I really wish those ladders had a little bit more heat resistance. It's weird that that's what's gone and nothing else has. Considering it was that was the, that ladder was tucked behind the heat shield pretty well, like if it was back here, I'd understand a little more. Hmm. Well, the important thing is to get somebody onto the surface, and that ladder is still present. Maybe I should have put another one down here instead. Oh well. I got cute and wanted to transfer from here to there through the RCS block, which I guess is not ideal. Regardless, here we go, still pointing in the correct direction. Alvi, you're doing good. We're under a thousand meters per second and we are slowing down substantially. We are still in the highlands, I think. And we have not totally immolated ourselves. Although, once again, because the air pressure is so high, our, vo our surface velocity, orbital velocity, are going to be a little bit different. But pretty exciting just to say, is this going to live or not live? Of all the things that aren't making it, I really thought that ladder would, though. So that's, that's a little annoying. But here we go, 35,000 meters. Look at how slow we are falling. And I guess the re yeah the reason this is going off center has to be because there's nothing really on the bottom. That's got to be it. All right. Well, regardless, we're almost into the clouds. Uh oh. Please tell me I'm landing in a. Uh, please tell me I'm not landing in water because I see a lot of water below me. What looks like? I see what looks like clouds or what looks like coast, and I can't tell. But we are falling now. Our heat shield is now doing its is no longer doing its thing. We're not going to worry too much about the parachutes just yet because we're still in the upper upper atmosphere and our surface speed is decreasing by quite a bit. So are we going to worry about SAS right now? Uh, we're just pointing straight down. Nothing wrong with that. We'll get a little bit closer to the surface and see if we are indeed landing on land or not. I'm suddenly not too confident and the fact that we're not about to hit the water. But I could be wrong. Actually, from the looks of it, we are not near the coast at all, but we are going pretty well down. We have, our view is blocked right now, but. I mean, a lot of Eve looks like this as well as look, we are under the, we are under the clouds. We have to parachute at almost any time. I just hope the parachutes don't tear apart here at the last second. And we are going to be getting rid of the heat shield at the same moment. So we are under the top layer of clouds. But like I said, the fun part about the City Clouds and Lights mod is that there are a ton of clouds around Eve, a lot of different layers. And now we're in the upper atmosphere. We could do an EVA report and kill ourselves. So let's see, review stored data. I wish I could get rid of it, but from space just above Eve's highlands. Let's ditch it and let's get a crew report from flying over the highlands because that seems like signs that'll be harder to get. 
I know it's worth less, but we'll be able to get some orbital science regardless. So 15,000. We have no idea right now what the clouds look like, but I think I think we got it okay. I think we'll be able to deploy the parachutes here and see for the first time ever what the land on Eve looks like. Exciting stuff. As we have blue sky, we have all kinds of clouds. I don't have the scatterer mod. Maybe I should for things like this. But look, it's just like we're in a big purple drink, which I'm sure is a meme that we can make use of right now. Let's see here. I guess it's probably appropriate. We're at 10,000 meters. We're getting below the last cloud lines. We're not over an explodium C from the looks of it. So that's a positive. Still have no idea how high up we are, but there's the last clouds and there's land. Don't mind the conceit of the little circle going around here, but there is your first shot in this series and for me from someone physically viewing Eve. And I wish I could get a pressure sensor reading right now. I probably can, to be honest. What's the air pressure look like? Toggle the display. What? 160, 170. Let's go ahead and keep that data. And what does this say? Toggle this. Let's log the data. Can't be done right now. Okay. Well, I think it's time, even though we can see the ground scatter down here, and we're only falling at 90-something meters per second. It's probably time to go ahead and just get the landing ready. So that should not be, that should be falling down further. That's an error. I don't know why this wants to attach here. Let's see if we can shake it off. Well, we should be pulled up regardless when these parachutes deploy. That's a little annoying. I guess I could use the RCS to just go back a little bit, maybe. Nope. So right now, the lip of this ring is stuck right there. We'll see if that messes up with our mission profile at all. I don't necessarily want to do the landing gears if they're going to hit this, because that could really bust this up. But look, we still have some nice surface. We're just rotating in a little bit of a circle more than I'd like right now. But that should fix that should correct itself as we go down. Look, we even have little cloud storms down here on the surface of Eve. Cool stuff. Cool, cool stuff. Let's close these for now in case disaster strikes. Because there is other flying signs that I could possibly get, but for now. We just want these parachutes to go at the right time as we actually do finally have viewing Coppola views, which is great. And we're at about the time where these parachutes should deploy. Please get unstuck. Please get unstuck. There we go. Falling to the surface. Hopefully that explodes. Go ahead and deploy the landing gears. Can't say for sure. There we go. Welcome to Eve. Shit just exploded. Look, we have blue skies. How fun is that? All right. Well, congratulations. I don't know necessarily if we'll be able to get full use of this because I, I can assure you my RCS is not going to work for this. But we do at least have something resembling a science bay that we can use. And we hit land, so land ho. Guess we can do physical time acceleration. It's safe enough. And we're falling at four meters per second. Avella, uh, or Alvi used parachutes and they were super effective. I never played Pokemon, but I do get that. It's not true. I never, never played it. I just never got into it. But there we go. We are in the highlands. And we are going to hopefully have a nice, gentle touchdown that completely belies the hellscape that we are on because we're on the purple planet. And how fun is that? Four meters. There we go. Perfect. Perfectly executed. We even have a ladder to extend. We have SAS that we can engage. We can lock the suspension for these, I hope. I don't like that they're shaking, but 
Like I said, there's a lot of damage that can go into play here just with all the science that we can do. Let's go ahead and open. And we do have the materials bay here. So let's go ahead and operate this. Let's go ahead and extend the panels. There's a huge bonus that you get for surface science on EVE. Like ridiculously huge. Like seismic scan from the highlands. Keep the data 160. Barometric pressure. What the hell? 400. That is ridiculous. So if we review the data here. Let's go ahead and transmit this one from flying at Eve because we don't want to. There is our one thing there. So if we log the pressure data again from the surface, we get 96 more science. Let's keep this data. And then what other science things do we have down here? We have, we don't want to lock the surface bay. What we want to do is get the mystery goo going. And we can keep this data. And we can log the gravity data. Cool. Gravitational field is strong here. The sensor records detail data about the local blah, blah, blah. So let's review the data. I guess we'll transmit it for now because it's not inoperable after use. So if we review the data here, I didn't even pay attention. The crushing pressure of the atmosphere is caused by some of the materials to crystallize rapidly. Well, that's fun. The unfortunate thing is that storing the data Review data, you observe the mystery goo, boring. I should put some mods in just to fix that, but there is a crew report to be had as we got electrical charge going. There's no crew in here. We do have crew here, so crew report from the surface. Crew's assessment of the situation. So surface, and we're transmitting that. We can also do another crew report and just keep the data. And look, we have contracts complete. We have successfully explored EVE for money. We have transmit recover science data from EVE's surface. You've finished construction of a new surface outpost on EVE, which is fantastic, and landed on EVE. So we got a lot of contracts done, and there is our surface station for the first time in its full glory. It does have a docking port on the bottom, and it does have a view in Copo that you can actually get motion sickness out of on the side. But enough of that, let's get to the surface. EVA, oh man. Well, we can go ahead and take one EVA here. EVA report while flying above Z Eve's Highlands. Let's keep the data. And look, she just fell. She didn't break the leg, thank goodness. Oh, thought she didn't. Look at this, how high can you jump? Not high. RCS boosters don't work. Because <laughs> we have, uh, Eve also has the next highest gravity to a uh, joule here. So unfortunately, because I didn't put a ladder there and I don't have a ladder here, I'm not gonna be able to reach this. Although maybe with the RCS thrusters, I wouldn't have been able to reach that anyway. So let's go ahead and climb up here first, then we'll plant the flag and do the EVA report. We just gotta make sure this lander leg uh, doesn't make bad things happen. Let's get on the right side of the ladder here. Grab it and climb. You weigh a lot more on Eve than you do on a jewel, not jewel. Well, yes, on jewel too, but let's go ahead and review the stored data. And we can't actually send it over to the science bay for some reason for the looks of it. Maybe because I have to have a scientist, I don't know. Regardless, we still have some data that we can make use of. So let's make use of it. There is our lone Kerbal knot on Eve as we have that's weird I didn't mean to put two satellite dishes on there but I did anyway all right toggle EVA report you did did you eat too much before you left you feel so sluggish and heavy that is true and we can take a surface sample from the highlands the surface appears a very strong purple tint to it or is it gray it just looks purple because everything else on Eve is you start to wonder if you're not taking on a purple tint yourself that is 240 science if we can return it just by itself let's plant a flag it's still pretty cool to make it to the surface of Eve, but let's see what we can do with this. So, Eve landing, someone get me? Perhaps, I don't know. But there, regardless, is our science as best we have it right now. And it's probably, we can't log the gravity data from the outside. That can only be done by a scientist. I just want to make sure that was the case. 
Yeah, this is this is hilarious. You've seen me space jump before. This is space jumping on Eve. All right, so definitely one picture right here just to say. Wait a minute. Is she overheating? She is actually overheating. Okay. That is very interesting. I did not know Kerbal Knots could overheat on Eve. I didn't know they could overheat at all. But apparently you can. So let's get her inside before the before everything kills her. What do you know? You can't EVA like that. So let's go ahead and board. All right, so I think that's time enough for this one. I'm going to have to try and cut into the me talking so much in the last episode. But we got a good landing on Eve. Not perfect, but good enough. We can't use the science bay right now, but we've got plenty of science here regardless. But thanks for watching. This is Asher with Kerbal Space Program. We got some contracts knocked out. Next time we're going to be going on Gilly, where hopefully we can get a little bit more stuff there. So thanks for watching. Let's go ahead and transmit some of the science that we have and make it work. I will see you all next time.